Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Avionics and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Avionics action figure collection that I have in my little man cave part of the house. Now we're going to be taking a look at stuff I have opened and up on display plus all the things that I haven't opened up yet that are still in boxes. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Klingsbo, the IKEA Klingsbo display which I have um, labeled as my TMNT display. So starting at the top, I have my unopened, unassembled blimp. I still plan on opening that up. And also the turtle party wagon, still in the box, just don't have the room as you can see in the beginning little video clip. It's My room is still small, but we are moving uh, sometime next year and I will have my Klingsbos and my Detolfs all set up. Um, I have Detolfs that are, that are unopened just laying on the garage floor, waiting to be moved, because I am not moving those while they are assembled. But yeah, starting with the Klingsbo Tower here, the TMNT, I have my 2021 Playmates Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady out of the two packs that had the turtles in, them, in there with them. And then on the top shelf here, starting from the back, I have what I have started with my Super 7 TMNT with Raph and Mike. Donatello is en route from BBTS. And then the Leonardo Super 7 is on pre-order at BBTS also. Still missing the Raft 2 pack, which contains Raft and Triceraton. So I just have them all laid out over there alongside in front of them. In the middle row, the uh, Playmates 6.5 inch line. And then the 2021 Retro Small Turtles right there in the front. Next shelf down. I've got my NECA TMNT tune line. Now, as far as the NECA TMNT tune line, I'm not quote unquote all in. I'm just picking and choosing uh, the figures that I care about. I actually have all four frogs. I just don't have the other two pack opened up yet. And plus the good guy shelf right there is running out of room as you can see. But yeah, the, those are the turtles in disguise in the back. And then uh, there's Metalhead. Two, those two frogs, Casey, Mondo, Muckman. I have the uh, Channel 6 news pack and uh, both Aprils right there. Next shelf down are the villains from the NECA TMNT2 line. Pretty much have almost who I want for my villain TMNT sh uh, shelf. I'm still looking to get a Leatherhead Slash and um, maybe a few others that I care about, but that's a uh, pretty much who I had, the foot soldiers. I, I was not able to find gray shirted shredder, so I'll settle with the uh, arcade pinball version. But it, it still works. And this is uh, NECA as well, Baxter. And then um, the Alpha One. Next shelf down, TMNT movie NECA line. I have the four turtles in the back, Splinter right over there. April O'Neil, Casey Jones, and then Raph in Disguise. And I do also have the uh, movie accessories pack, as you can see. Going down, there we have um, the villains from the NECA movie line. I feel like I need another two pack of foot soldiers to fill out that space. What do you guys think? Yeah, I got Super Shredder, Token Razar, Regular Shredder, and two foot soldiers. All right, now moving on to my other Klingsbo display. So I have both of those Klingsbo displays right there next to my gaming computer. So this one is my Transformers tower. And um, I only collect the War for Cybertron, Kingdom, Siege, Earthrise lines. So starting at the top, we got Jetfire, got Ultra Magnus, Rodimus Prime, we have the uh, the core, core class Optimus standing on top of uh, regular Optimus in, in car mode. I have Ratchet up there as well. As you can see, I am running out of room. I may have to divide these up somehow, but yeah. So Ratchet's up there in vehicle form, and then all the Autobots take up the first two shelves. I'm pretty much, I pretty much have everyone who I want, who, I, who I've been looking for. And I even have Time Machine Transformer. Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
And then Ecto-1 Transformer. He's in vehicle mode at the moment. And then we got Prowl in uh, vehicle mode. I also collect some of the smaller Battlemaster ones. Just, just enough. And then moving down to the Decepticon shelf. Now you're probably wondering why is Gnaw there? But that's because I have him in uh, vehicle mode. Who's that? Uh, Cyclonus? Yeah, Cyclonus. But yeah, here's uh, this is where the Decepticons start on this shelf. Got Shockwave, Scourge. And then uh, more of those Battlemaster guys. And moving down, my Seekers in the back. And then uh, Double Decker there, Astro Train. And once again, there is Cyclonus in ship form, vehicle mode. I uh, 3D printed my own Energon cubes. And then on the bottom shelf, not enough room, especially with more Dinobots coming. I have Dinobots and the War for Cybertron line of Beast Wars Transformers. You got Beast Megatron, Black Arachnia. I uh, thankfully for my friend out in Colorado, he's got a Tigatron for me. It's en route, so he's gonna be joining his Maximals. And that's the Transformers Tower. Next, we're gonna be going over this IKEA cubicle shelf section of the room, starting with my 3D printed. G.I. Joe classified scale vehicles. Uh, I printed and assembled these myself. Didn't, only took about maybe a little over 50 hours each. Well, this custom one in the middle is custom. I just kind of chopped things up to make it my own. But here's the Vamp Mark II. My custom kind of pickup looking vehicle. And then my custom blue Cobra Stinger. And then some other vehicles up here. We have Baroness's Coil. I got two ram cycles and there's breaker and then a 3d printed armory shelf if you want to call it and then down here pardon the dust pardon the dust looks like i forgot an area but here's my little fortnite cubicle i collect both um hasbro and jazzwares now i played fortnite for a little bit back uh, back a while ago, and I really don't like that game uh, much anymore, but all the different characters that they've created as action figures are really cool looking, so I went in and started collecting those. And I do, like I said, I have both the Hasbro and Jazzwares. I don't have them all up on display. I probably have maybe a third opened up. That This is just a third that are opened up. But yeah, and then down below is my NECA 8-inch Karate Kid line. Mr. Miyagi leading the forefront. Moving over here, the Avengers section. Now, the uh, Thanos and the children of Thanos, they are sharing a cubicle. But um, yeah, I got the original six Avengers right there, front. And then above them, more of the Avengers. Now, I don't have every single Avenger. I still need, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, Gamora. Uh, I, but uh, pretty much, oh, and my Doctor Strange. My Doctor Strange is unopened, but I'm, I'm mixing lines with the Avengers because as you can see, that's an SH Figuarts Hulk. Um, and then um, this is an older Hasbro Hawk, Hawkeye that's a Walmart exclusive mixed in with current Hasbro Marvel Legends. But yeah, this is my definitive Avengers collection that I'm going with to each their own. Moving on to G.I. Joe's classified six inch scale line. I have three different versions of Roadblock and then three versions of Snake Eyes. Got the movie one, got the Timber Commando Alpha version, and then uh, the Zero One classified Snake Eyes, which I custom painted just a tad, adding some silver accents. But, uh, and then my second breaker body with uh, the Snake Eyes movie head on them as just an extra Joe. 
below that, well, we'll go side by side because we're still talking about Joes. The Cobras. We've got Cobra Commander and that Baroness up on top, movie Baroness. I have both Baronesses. There's the other one right below her with the helmet on. I got both Zartans, the Master of Disguise, and the regular. Um, now, I'm not really into army building, so I only have two of each as far as troopers, infantry, and Cobra Vipers. For me, that's, that's enough. I just want two of each, just like the ninjas, two red ninjas. I don't need 20 troopers taking up a lot of space. And then, so then moving down back here, we're going to zigzag back over to my little Ghostbuster section. So we have the uh, Ecto-1 plasma series with the now the state park marshmallow man he's actually a piggy bank um, but I think he went he just goes well enough uh, scale wise with the plasma series Ghostbusters that I have the move the movie version so we got the key master and the gatekeeper up top with the villain of the movie and then the four Ghostbusters themselves and the two terror dogs Moving on, we've got the uh, DC McFarlane Zack Snyder Suicide Squad. Now, I have these uh, custom weapons made by MRG Toys with a Z on Instagram. You can find those custom movie accurate weapons. Find him on Instagram because the weapons that Peacemaker and Bloodsport come with in box are horrible. <laughs> if you know, you know. Moving on up, we've got my NECA, it's kind of a mixed bag cubicle shelf. So I have what I have opened of my NECA horror with my slashers and scary movies. And then my Terminator side along with Back to the Future and the, the NECA diecast metal time machine. But yeah, um, we're going to go over everything that I have unopened still. And like I said, I don't really have a lot of room. but Hopefully I can make all the room I need with the details at the new house next year. Moving on to this little cubicle. I've got the Jazzwares Halo Spartan Collection. I've got about uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven opened up. I've got more um, that are unopened. And then I also have the McFarlane The Witcher video game figures with Geralt and Aradin. And then down here are my WWE, Mattel, Elite, and Ultimate mixed. All the wrestlers that I grew up watching, not really into uh, the newer cast of wrestlers going on right now, but I do have like Tatanka in the back and Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Jake the Snake mixed in there. I got the Hart Brothers with, with uh, Big Mouth. And Big Boss Man, but yeah, those are my, I have a few unopened as well there. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and move on to, oh, actually, I do have up here, let's see here. So, I have the, I have, oh, you know what, I forgot where I put Joker and the Riddler, but I do have the McFarlane Retro 66 line random Maisto 112 motorcycle over there, but anyways, I use that for Captain America. Marvel Legends, but yeah, I have the the Batcave diorama uh, with the Batmobile, and yeah, I have to open up Joker and Riddler, put them in there into the mix. Then I have some Mario, Legend of Zelda. We got Link. That's a SH Figures Mario. Um, I forgot if that's a SH Figures um, Link. I believe so. I bought that from my friend. And then I have some more 3D printed stuff that I made. And then moving on to my Michael Jordan area here. I've got the Mafex Medicom Dream Team version mic and regular Chicago Bull mic. And then the basketball hoop. It's a little larger than the 112 scale, but it works with some photos. But uh, that's an older McFarlane backboard for his seven inch, for the McFarlane seven inch basketball figures back in the day like over 10 years ago, about 10 years ago, I wanna say. And then moving on to my Star Wars Black Series collection. I pretty much just have um, just the Bad Batch and then everyone from the Mandalorian series with, with Ren 
Dark Sith Ren, Kylo, uh, and Kylo, uh, sorry, Ray. <laughs> Got Ray, uh, Sith Ray, and Kylo Ren, and then everyone basically from the uh, Mandalorian series. I believe I have some, yeah, I do have some uh, Mandalorian series figures unopened still. We're gonna go over that here in a little bit. And taking us back to the vehicles. All right, let's go ahead now and take a look at everything that needs to be un oh, uh, unboxed. Actually, just before we start going over everything that needs to be open still, I do have my Masters of the Universe Revelation or Masterverse figures. I just have them out here in front of my 3D printers. They're in a tote usually, but I just wanted to put them out there on display for this video. But yeah, like I said, I need, I can probably put some details here if I wanted to, but like I said, I don't want to assemble them and then have to move them later because we're moving within the next year. But yeah, so those are, uh, I got, I'm up to date with that, up to wave three. But yeah, here's my NECA Street diorama that I used to take some toy photography with, and then my FEX sci fi little diorama that I used also for toy photography at times. All right, so moving on to the table. I usually just have these all in box, like big boxes, but I laid them all out on my workbenches so we can go over everything. Starting on this side, I've got, uh, I'm gonna head switch to wide angle here. We've got Billy Gunn. We've got Ravishing Rick Rude. We've got the blue chase variant of Junkyard Dog. Oh, I got action figures falling behind me. Oops, I bumped into them. All right, where are we at? I got Colonel Mustafa. And then I have both Nasty Boys. Oh, another, uh, it's gonna be hard to find. Legion of Doom Hawk and Animal. They are on my want for my uh, Mattel WWE, but those guys are very pricey on the third market. You cannot find them anymore in the store. I got Ultimate Edge, and then Ultimate Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And then here, my unopened Fortnite's Jazzware figures. So we have Seeker, and then Hasbro's Jewels and Ohm. Then I have Aerial Threat. <clears throat> I'll be opening these up very soon. I'll have a lot more time in the next couple of weeks to be opening stuff, but of course, where am I gonna put them all? So I don't know. So here's Dark Voyager. We got Atlantean Fish Stick. Raptor Glow Version. Black Knight. Now I pretty much have everyone that I that I want or that looks cool as far as the Jazzwares Fortnite figures. We've got the Walmart exclusive. Slushy Soldier. Some of these are dusty too, so. Eight ball. And then I have both um, kit shadow version and kit standard version. So those are two cool looking figures. And then <clears throat> behind Jules and Ohm, we've got Frozen Raven. <clears throat> Molten Battlehound. We've got Scuba Jonesy. Got Rabbit Raider, Vendetta, Tomato Head. Been really wanting to open him up. Might open him up to make some room because I love the I love the look of him. Got Sentinel, dark version. Then I have Omega Max level. That's a cool looking figure set as well. Along with a Ragnarok Max level. All right, moving on to unopened Black Series. Not a lot, about uh, seven. I have the Imperial version of Crosshair. I've got Cad Bane. Remnant Stormtrooper. Also, FYI, I know people are asking, oh, what do you what do you want to trade for that? You want to sell that? Like, nope, nothing is for sale. Nothing is up for trade. Got two Remnant Stormtroopers. We got... IG-11. We have one Jawa. I might get another Jawa just to have two. Like my army of two. And then we have the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. 
All right, <clears throat> unopened, excuse me, unopened NECA. We have this dock. Looking forward to the newer uh, Back to the Future NECAs like uh, Griff Tannen and the White Coat um, Doc Brown. I have one T-800 endoskeleton. I got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got Hellraiser. I'm looking forward to more The Boys figures. That show is awesome on, on uh, Amazon Prime Video. Got Starlight and Homelander. And then this is a cool one that I want to open up, but like I said, I don't have any room. The neck a Contra pack. Now this has both the two characters from the video game, which is cool. And then I found this one at Walmart the other uh, last week. It was funny because my friend was just texting me a picture like this is the only Pennywise, you, uh, modern Pennywise you need. And and then within an hour, I because I was at Walmart, I find him at the Walmart. He wasn't ringing up, but unfortunately I did not get him at discount like I did Wave 3 Masterverse. And they finally found the price on him, so I paid full price. So my unopened Transformers, I have these three core. Uh, Soundwave, Megatron, Starscream. And then I have Scorponok, so I need to be opening him up and let him join his um, <clears throat> his Beast Megatron and Black Arachnia. And then I have uh, Sparkless Seeker, another Seeker, and Galvatron. Now I do have, uh, what is his name, Rekgar. I can't find him. <laughs> I, I thought I put him in these boxes of these unopened toys, but he's around here somewhere, probably in my closet. And then I have DC McFarlane, Suicide Squad, uh, not Suicide Squad, sorry, Justice League 2021. I've got Cyborg, The Flash, got Batman, <clears throat> Black Suit Superman, Aquaman, and I don't know why they didn't make well, I think I know why I didn't make a Justice League 2021 Zack Snyder Wonder Woman is because I guess this Wonder Woman is basically the same. So this is my Wonder Woman for my Justice League collection. Back here, I don't. My only one sixth figure is this custom appareled Breaking Bad Heisenberg that uh, my friend sold me. And uh, I'll go ahead and take up the sleeve here. Let me take a closer look at what he's wearing because he's not wearing that. He's wearing this. All right. So I have Siri from The Witcher Wild Hunt, McFarlane, to join those two other figures. And then my unopened Spartan collection. We have Palmer. We have Jerome. We've got the MK5 Bravo in this color variant, and then this Mark V Bravo, that color variant. My random Austin Powers action figure that my friend found at, uh, I think he found it at uh, just a secondhand like music and collectibles store I have a, here in Vegas. So he was only 10 bucks, so I said, yes, get him for me. He looks funny. You got my random Deadpool up there out sniping with a Fortnite sniper rifle. But yeah, here's uh, my unopened Marvel Legends. So we have the Happy Hogan Iron Man Mark, the Golden Iron Man from, uh, what was that, Iron Man 3, unopened still. We have the Vulture, really cool looking figure from Spider-Man Homecoming. And then my Doctor Strange for my, my MCU Marvel uh, M uh, MCU Avengers right there and then my chrome dome that I need to put he, I think he can he should be able to fit on the shelf over there the the, the clings bow and then the other two frogs unopened and then last but not least fire Mario to join with this Mario I'll eventually have a Nintendo shelf with uh, Mario, Fire Mario, Super Mario, Link, and the NECA Contra, and then Luigi. Yeah. 
one more thing is this tote of extra figures that I just don't have room for them to be put out on display. So they're all just kind of congregating and hibernating in this tote. As you can see, there's a toxin in there and the watcher. But yeah, there's just a mix of figures in there that I just don't have room to put up. So they're just going to be hanging out in that tote for now. So that's going to wrap up this video on the Avionics action figure collection. As you can see, I collect many different lines. If you're a collector as well, I'd love to know what you all collect. Leave them all down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of cool content like this. Thanks for watching, guys.